Hello, Cancer. You guys, I am so sorry. You know, most of the time I do look at the video just for a split second to make sure that the audio is there because I've had a couple of videos I did that before. And I've done it with the other videos this morning, but I didn't do yours. And the one that I did not make sure that the audio was present on is the main one that um, it wasn't on. So here we go, guys. Second video for my Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for the second through the third. See what's going on for you guys. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If this reading does not resonate with you guys, please don't try to make it, okay? Take out of it what resonates with you and leave the rest. If nothing resonates, leave it alone, all right? So here we go, my Cancer friends. Cancer, what's going on for Cancer? Cancer. The Nine of Coins. Feeling very confident. Um, trying to just, you know, be good with you at this point. I feel like a lot of you guys are maybe have come out of relationships for some reason. Um, some of you have been single for a while and you're good being single. But I think a lot of you are kind of sort of ready to date right now is what I'm getting from this Virgo energy. Maybe a Virgo individual that you guys are thinking about as well. Okay, this doesn't have to be. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Some of you are just happy being by yourself. That is, you know, you're fulfilled within yourself. But others of you, it's like, okay, now I've been single long enough and I'm ready for a committed relationship that has everything in it that I need, okay? The love, the support, um, emotionally, want a family even, okay? Because right now, I mean, you're hot, honestly. You're confident, your money's good, um... You don't have to be rich, but you know, just comfortable in that you can maintain on your own right now and welcoming in, you know, someone else into your life. Probably see an energy there. Three of Wands, yeah. You're looking for that person, I feel. The person that, that has that sparks an interest in you. Somebody that you feel like you deserve in your life. Okay. Aries energy here. I mean, you may have your eye on somebody here already. Aries, Pisces energy that you feel like um, that you feel like can provide you with this. I'm just looking at these cards because some of you have detached from someone and um, like broke up with them, and it was a committed relationship, and you're thinking about going back. You're thinking about if this was like a good situation for you, for some of you, okay? Or you're thinking about walking away. It's like, do I stay or should I go? Do I stay or should I go? Is where you're at right now. And I think most of you are just kind of, um, just kind of reflecting on maybe the good things that happened before. Okay, but I, what I'm getting here is that a lot of you are wanting to go back. A lot of you are wanting to go back here. Okay, let's see what else we got. The lovers, yeah. There's a choice to be made between you staying single and involving yourself in a committed relationship. Do I stay single because I'm happy right now, I'm good right now, I'm comfortable, nobody's worrying the shit out of me, um, or should I get into a relationship? Okay, there's a choice to be made. I feel like there's somebody that you're very attracted to and you feel very drawn to here with the lover's energy, Gemini energy, okay? Ten of Swords, yeah. Hmm. Some of you are actually thinking about just being single, breaking up with someone that you've been involved with for a while now, okay? Feeling like you've been stabbed in the back by this person and choosing to be single. Others of you, like I said, are thinking about revisiting this situation where you broke up with someone and thinking about going back. 
Like, you know, did I make the right decision here? Letting go of past issues, letting go of the ego, letting go of all of the thoughts that you had surrounding um, the negative uh, situations that you've been through with this individual here. Then we have a nine of swords. Yeah, a lot of you, a lot of you are really rethinking yourself. Did you do the right thing in leaving? Did you do the right thing in walking away? And you're having a hard time. I think what's keeping you from like solidly making a decision is, you know, there are things that happen between the two of you that were very hurtful to you. That you just feel like, you know, you do not want to be in that position again. Okay. Is this something that's going to repeat itself? And so you're kind of going back and forth between like, should I just start over or should I try to make this relationship work? Should I try to go back and make this relationship work? Work Is it worth it? The five of swords, a lot of thinking going on here. Should you fight for it? Somebody's here. Somebody here is willing to fight for this for sure. Okay, they're not want to give up. There may have been a lot of arguments, disagreements in this relationship where people said a lot of hurtful words and um, saying things that they didn't necessarily mean or either they said things that in the moment that made them feel good or made them feel like they were like one up in the other person. But no, there is no winner here. Okay, somebody's willing to fight for this. Willing to try to make things better, try to smooth things over is what I'm getting. Four of Cups. And you're wondering, should I fight for this? Should I take this person back? Should I try to get back with them? Should I accept, you know, whatever love they're trying to offer me? Because right now you're not so sure about it. You're not sure if it's a good idea. And so you're kind of like, you're just weighing your options right now. The Page of Wands. You're weighing your options right now. I think, you know, there's, there's a very small, well, I'm not going to say small. You definitely want to fight for this. Somebody wants to fight for this, whether it's you or the other person or both of you. But um, I feel like more so you. You are wanting to fight for this, but you're very leery about it. You're very leery about it because I do think that you guys, you feel this very strong connection with this person. But at the same time, it's like you don't want to fight. You don't want to argue anymore. Um, you don't want to put yourself in a bad um, situation here. Again, is what I'm getting, okay? So we have Virgo, Pisces, Aries, Gemini, um, Aquarius energy here. Okay, so you guys, that's what I have for you. And again, I apologize for the first video that had no audio. And um, you guys be blessed and I will be speaking with you soon.